Hello, this is HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Nymphia! Last time, we got into the seventh level of the old cave, so let's go loot for some more treasure. Or look for some more loot. Whatever. Loot more treasure against more new enemies. Griffons! Someone pick up the Griffon. Now, uh, actually what we want to do is put them to sleep first. Uh, Griffins are pretty standard enemies, no elemental weakness, but you do want to get them asleep, or at least two of them. It seems that, you see how the griffins are bobbing up and down like that? It seems that when the enemy is asleep, that's, I guess, a little animation that they do in the game to uh, signify that they are indeed asleep there, so, as opposed to like a little above their heads or something like that. I don't know, but... Well, there we go. Now we can just take these guys out easily enough. But, man, I love that fright spell. It's amazing. Just totally disable a large group of enemies that would otherwise murder me. Yeah, you'd love to have the chance to murder me, wouldn't you? Man, I have to heal myself after every battle in this place. If only there were a way I could heal myself more easily. Hey, hey, all right. We learned the blast spell for Lufia there. So let's give the blast ring a try. Why not? Uh, one thing, though, to be careful of is that those uh, Mega Turtles are strongly resistant to explosion spells. So, don't use that on them. Anyway, let's head on down there. We'll head up there eventually. The path will loop around for us. And here's... I don't know if I showed them before, but here they are again. Mad Wolves! Uh, let's see, let's confuse them. Disable those guys. Huh, and apparently when you're confused, you bob up and up and down really, really fast, I guess. Well, let's give the blast spell a try. Let's see, how much was I dealing with both before? Like, 180, 200 damage, something like that? Well, let's see. Whoa! Holy crap! You could do that to every enemy? Wow! It's amazing! Well, let's take out that, uh, Mega Frog. I guess you guys were right about that. Holy cow! I didn't realize Blast would be that good with the Blast Ring on. I just assumed that when I was doing my testing, I tested it out on Bang. And I was like, well, <laughs> why would I want to test Blast with that thing if Bang didn't do that well? Well, there you go, viewers. I, I did not know that. I didn't know the Blast Ring was actually remotely that good. It costs a lot of MP, so you want to watch yourself there, but... Wow, that could actually be pretty good. Well, I I'm impressed. Okay, so let's heal up after that one. Yeah, I'm just using Champion all the time now. Man, between that Blast Ring and the Fright Spell, I'm going to have to make quite a few changes to my walkthrough for this area and a few of the other areas before this to tell people not to sell it. I mean, you can always buy it back later, but well, I just never really thought about that in particular. Whoa, girl, I actually need some healing for a change. I just assumed because his HP was the same as everyone else, he, he was okay. Oh, I can take care of these guys easily enough. Now, I would equip the Frost Ring on Jaren, but a few of the enemies either are resistant to Frost, or, you know, it's just really not worth it, like here, you know? So it's like, I mean, I know there's some enemies that are weak to it, but Frost just doesn't deal nearly enough damage. Like against these guys. Apparently, uh, the explosion works really well on them. Wow, that's amazing. I love that. Man, I'm still going to hold on to the flash ring for, like, boss fights. And especially later in the game when we get, um, what's it, we get thunder. That's going to be really good. Uh, and we're also going to run into smaller groups of enemies later on. So, well, just something to keep an eye on there. But yeah, we'll hold on to both of them. And get more empty treasure! Ah, uh, let's see, didn't I get a float? Yes, I did! Okay. I don't think there's any hidden items in the swamp. No, I wouldn't sink in the swamp like that. Eh, I don't care about the two damage. Ooh, this part. We're almost at the part that I've been waiting for this whole time. There she is. Come on, make it! there. Yes! We got it! The almighty wind flute! It 
it's basically the same thing as the Sage of Stone from the Dragon Warrior game. So, let's give that a try. If the enemies will ever come out of hiding. Well, let's give the clear silk, I guess, to uh, Jaren there. And this will loop around to the other path that I passed up before. Okay, well, let's see. Let's go after the Mega Turtle. You use the Wind Flute. This is uh, another reason why I wanted uh, Jaren to have all that speed. But anyway. Okay, well, maybe that's not a good example. But essentially, it can restore about 50 to 70 HP to everyone for free. Unlimited uses for it. It's just ridiculously powerful. Now I actually could use that wind flute. Really bad. Well, at least you're spreading out their attacks very nicely for me. But yeah, it is just ridiculously powerful. We should never have to worry about healing at all. Uh, yeah, I'll use another blast. Why not? Just finish off those griffins. Eh, I probably didn't need to do that, but... Well, I just want to get through this quickly. So, yeah, you... Because if Jaren has all that speed with the wind flute... I lost my train of thought there. Um, but yeah, she can use it quickly and take her actions with it quickly, too. So that's pretty nice. Alright, we're almost done with this place. You know, I probably overstated how obscenely difficult this place was. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, you come here at level 30, you are toast. But, you know, if you know how to use the debuffs and status ailments and the, you get the wind flu early on and everything like that, you know, it's not that bad at all. So, I mean, you know, just, well, obviously you want to use deflect and get it to work for a change, but, you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, uh, fright, I, I don't know why that's a sleep spell. You got me on that one. Yeah, I'm almost out of MP. Well, I'm almost done with this place, too. Those chests there, those are the last ones, by the way. So, when I'm done here, I'll just... Well, I'll meet you back at the old cave shop to exchange the crown jewels. That's... By the way, a lot of people were telling me the crown jewels, uh, you can actually equip them uh, as a headgear. Because, well, it's a crown. You know, why not? Alright, there we go. But as you can see, uh, let's see, where is it? Ah, there it is. Yeah, totally not worth it to uh, equip those. So, okay, well, I'll just meet you back at the old cave shop at Grenoble and exchange the crown jewels then. All right, we're back. So let's drop off those crown jewels for useless money. Not that I'm going to be buying anything in the near future, but it's there. Got any more tasks for me? Hey, hey, all right. Well, at least they're kind enough to call me a treasure hunter instead of thief. Well, there we go. Okay, so now let's uh, head on over to Lynn's to get that Illumina. We gotta go through the Tower of Light in order to get there, but I've already been through there. So, should be pretty easy. All I gotta do is just go back to Baku to get the key for the door in the back there that we saw earlier. So, let's get it from the old man here. Okay, how's it going? Ah, oh, come on! Really? Yeah, this is when you're directed to go to the Tower of Light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the roof because that's where the guy is off screen. If you want to know how to get there, look back a couple episodes because that's when I actually went there. So I'm just going to meet you at the roof there and take the key back then. All right, we're back on the roof of the Tower of Light. If you didn't get that chest earlier with the Might Helmet, you can never get it now because it's full again. So, oh no! What did he need the key for the Tower of Light for? We gotta stop him! Oh, well, okay. I guess we only need to know BOSS TIME! Yeah, it's been a while since we've had a boss fight, so... Now we're starting to get back on track with the plot and everything. So, first things first, as always, set up your buffs and debuffs. Wow, not bad. Good increase in attack power there. And then once you've got your buffs and debuffs on everyone, you have Lufio use Bolt. I've got her on the Flash Ring now, even though on the way up, I had her equipped with the Blast Ring to take out all those enemies. And wow, it is amazing against these weaker enemies. But anyway, once you've done that and he starts attacking you, use the Wind Flute so that way you can heal up. And it is just obscenely good. I almost thought about 
banning the wind suit from the LP because it is just that good. I mean, it should be like a final dungeon item like it was in Dragon Warrior 3 and Dragon Warrior 4. I don't know about Dragon Warrior 5. I haven't gotten that far yet. So I'm in, well, somewhere in the middle of the game. I don't, I don't know exactly how far I am in the game, but, well, I'll finish it eventually. And, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me, H.C. Bailey, are you going to LP any more of the Dragon Quest games? Well, maybe, maybe. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Yeah, I, I don't like to plan that far ahead. I'm OCD, but not that OCD. What is that he's got in his left hand anyway? His left hand, from his perspective. I don't know. Anyway, well, that was a pretty easy boss. All right. Well, let's get that key back and head on over to Liz. Uh-oh, danger music. Who's there? What's going on? Who are you, Majin Buu? No, no, just kidding. Uh-oh. Gaties must be spying on us! They must have been following us this whole time! Nuts. We can take on two of them. We've got more party members! And we're pretty uh, powerful now. Well, yeah, she sent you packing last time. Let's get them! Nuts. That didn't work out too well. Thank you for not pushing Jaren over the side of the tower. Oh, no! Well, that didn't work out too well. You gotta get that dual blade, I guess. But you gotta get over to the village of Linz. Nah, nah, they were just jacking with us. Yes, of course they were, the Sinistrals. No, nah, no, nah, we might as well go home. We don't have a chance. Oh, yeah, that would be a problem. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we, uh, yeah, we might want to get the dual blade there and go underwater. Well, okay. Let's head on over there, then. But first, let's grab this key. But can we stop the Sinistrals before they can revive Dallas and Aram? Find out next time on Let's Play Lymphia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.